The one thing about life is that I will always wonder why grown adults can be attracted to young kids. I mean, they're not in that group of age where all the monkey noises part of a person is developed and they can't even relate to these kids, so what gives? Well, most of the time, it's just people who cannot risk to get someone who they love because they're too idiotic and shitty in human interaction, so they manipulate young, vulnerable people. And for whatever reason, famous people cannot wrap around the idea that preying on young kids resulting in literally breaking a crime would destroy your career. But a YouTuber that has been exposed as a pedophile was not caused by some Batman level Reddit detective exposing them for being a creepy idiot. In fact, they admitted it themselves and paid the repercussion themselves. But before the video starts, it's begging time. I know it is quite annoying for you to hear this all the time, but come on, just, just hit it. I know you want to. I mean, you can. You will. I mean, you, you will. You have. You did it. Good job, mate. Now continue watching the video. Cyrus is a commentary channel being called a leafy clone. Let's be honest, everyone was a leafy clone at some point in their career. Trust me, if you dare criticize someone once, people will start calling you a leafy clone. This Cyrus guy was pretty famous with around 1 million subscribers and even had a podcast with other prominent commentary channels. But recently, he would post a video of him confessing about mentally abusing girls on Discord, with him sex texting a 12 year old girl when he was 16. I'm gonna start this by being as blunt as I can. I've been fucking up for a really long time and I've been hurting a lot of people, especially a lot of women on the internet. And I, I just can't keep going on receiving all this positive support and pretending like everything is fine daily uploading like i i'm not fucking up every day i just want to be completely honest with you guys as i've been being honest with all of the girls that i had basically led on and hurt for so long i've grown up on the internet for just about my entire life and every single phase i've gone through every single negative part of me that i've gone through other people have had to experience on here and it's a lot easier to mask in a 10 minute video than it is with people that i talk to every single day of my life so a lot of you have absolutely no clue on what I'm about to say, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it, man. For the last, I, I'm not even sure how many years that I've been on the internet, since uh, I was probably around 15, 14, I've been lying to a lot of females and flirting with a lot of females, and I didn't ever understand the weight of it as it was through the internet. I thought that they would just talk to guys in real life or that it wouldn't really affect them, but it does. These are real people with real feelings, and I've had to understand that these were people that really cared about me and really trusted me, and I completely broke that with so many different girls, and it's horrible. I was on the internet being a cocky, arrogant, kind thinking that I was just some fucking what's the word thinking that I was just like getting all these girls man but I was just hurting them they were all thinking that they had met the one they were all thinking that we were going to have a life together and shit and that just wasn't true it has led to me hurting a lot of people man and some of those people even being younger than me some are saying that one of the girls was like 12 but I, I just want to go ahead and say that's not the girl's age at all but I even heard a girl that was three years younger than me and it was so fucked man like it's so fucked up I can't keep getting positive support I can't keep reading all these lovely comments it's fucked man like I really need to be off of the internet I really need to go get help and I need to stop hurting people. So that's what I'm going to be doing as of today, everybody. You will not see me around for a good long while as I really want to get help. I want to stop lying to people and I want to stop hurting people. I can never undo any of the things that I've ever done to anybody. I'm so fucking sorry. I'm so sorry to anybody that ever felt like we'd have a life or a future together. I fucked up. I should have never led you on, I should have never lied, I should have never even flirted with you in the first place. It was stupid. I mean, what other social media did you expect? Look, I know I'm giving Discord a bad rap for something they can't fully control. But I mean, it is literally the only social media you hear famous people first with minors ever, so... What did you expect him flirting with underweight women in Wattpad? This video confessing apology was kinda solid, very quick, concise, no over the top sigh or following, it's just him feeling guilty for receiving such positive feedback from the community while he was secretly being a creepy pedophile and fucking up with young kids minds. But unfortunately it is quite vague and wasn't honest with the allegations, even saying the 12 year old wasn't 12. You can't, you can't be playing the oldest trick in the book, mate. You just, you just can't. It doesn't work all the time. 
Now, it is important to keep in mind that he was 16 when all of that happened, so it doesn't count as pedophilia as sort, but if I explain it further, I will sound like a pedophile at that point, so I'll leave that point for now. I'll give you this one, however. It is rumored that it was going on for three fucking years. So he was basically not a minor anymore when all of that was still happening. So take that as what you will. Again, he was still quite vague. He sounded like there was much more going on besides the whole 12 year old sex texting part. Sounds like he has hurt a lot of people in the past and played with them. All the toxic 14 year old matching proper picture Discord e couples would do. Now, unfortunately, we haven't really gotten much information about Cyrus Endeavors. However, this is a pretty plot twist, ladies and gentlemen. He would then private all of his videos, later delete his account. Either YouTube itself terminating him or his free will to do so. Either way, if he actually felt remorse about what he did, then I gotta give respect to that. Most people would get caught in the act. But Cyrus actually kinda sounded guilty for what he has been doing. The keyword on kinda. Some are saying that one of the girls was like 12, but I, I just wanna go ahead and say that's not the girl's age at all. And he did own up to it and apologize for it, even though it was all vague and obscure. If he had given himself more time to think about it, he would give in much more information about this guilty past. But unfortunately, it seemed as though he didn't feel as he was worthy of his fame anymore and decided to pack up and leave the internet altogether. And although it is quite fortunate that he has left his podium, I mean at any timeline, he could have just abused his high status to continue his horrible actions. It is quite unfortunate that people lost a YouTuber that they deemed someone respectable. While I can't comment on that further as I'm not a big viewer of him, it is sad that he only learned of his mistake this late. While it is important to acknowledge his own mistakes, unfortunately it was too late for him to not attack other women and not go on for a 3 year sex texting with a minor. So yeah, that's that, we'll probably hear more about Cyrus in the future. But for now, it is safe to assume that this is the end of Cyrus' YouTube career, buried with the other YouTubers who walked the same path as him. But at least he buried himself in his own several bury, not the others who were buried by others' hands.